everyone. Uh, today we are at Spring Auto Fest. It's organized by NBS Cape Town and the Germanese Cape Town. I've got the Germanese Cape Town crew here and uh, I'm just going to ask them to introduce themselves. All right, I'm Ashley. I am one of the videographers and editors for the Germanese. I'm Jordan. <laughs> I'm one of the photographers learning to do videography. I'm Ricardo, also one of the videographers and editors for the Germanese. This is your big uh, event that you've organized now for how many months? Uh, it's the first time that you've done something this big. Uh, what was the learning curve like? Uh, mistakes made? Uh, how did it go? I'd say from uh, mistakes that we've learned is uh, too many coffee vendors. We definitely had too many coffee vendors, so we've learned from that. Also, making sure that the power is not an issue. So we had a lot of power issues to get everything running. But uh, again, it is our first event, so this is a bit of teething, but I think for our first event, the turn up was pretty good and uh, we're pretty happy with it. Well, first event, it looks pretty pro from my eyes and uh, it's a great turnout as well. Um, uh, so what is Spring Auto Fest all about? I'd say, uh, let's call it just basically a car show for anybody who loves cars. We would wish to have a bit more variation, a lot more like off-roading cars and stuff like that. We have been contacted about a bunch of off-roading crews that want to do like a display next time. So uh, we definitely want to include as many cars as possible. But uh, the main goal was a family day and charity event. We're raising a lot of funds for the actual venue. They're trying to build uh, basketball courts. So that's the main thing that a lot of the money is going to and uh, just bring unity to the car scene. We want everyone to come through and have a good time, get as many yeah, people here our, as possible. Our goal, like I know overseas, a lot of people watch overseas videos, like their car shows are quite big. So we're trying to get it, cause like in Cape Town, we don't really have a big show. I know in Joburg they have like Vida Fest and things like that. So I, th I feel we're trying to get to that part where like people know, okay, this this car show is gonna be one of the biggest in Cape Town. Yeah, so we try, we're trying to get to that extent where you can have all sorts of cars, like Ricardo said, off-roading cars, racing cars, dune buggies, whatever it may be. Just come, have a fun day and everyone respects each other's work. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's pretty much our first test run at an event of this scale, especially something that's more legalized and not just a show up and, you know, show off your car. I think it was quite a decent process to go through. I don't think it was too bad of a process. The um, work is a lot. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely a lot of work. Prepping as well is very important. And but um, be, other than that, it was quite a... To be fair, we've spoken about hosting a car show for yeah. months and the fact that, yes. like, we will... Yeah, yes. yes. Like, the build up for the past three weeks to this day, like, it stressed us out you anxious, you're just like, and then the day comes, you're like, cool, I feel relieved, it's good. So now we know where we can be better for the next one and hopefully it just gets bigger and bigger from here. Yep. So are you guys already thinking of the next one? Oh, really, oh 100%. We're really planning the next one, we're seeing where we can be better, what we can add, what we can do, you know. It's all about improving. And we at that stage now where we want people to give us feedback after the event and go, okay, this is what we thought you guys did well. This is where we thought you could maybe do yeah. better and we, we'll take it and better it. Yeah. Are, there, are there any uh, prizes up for grabs today? 100% yes, yes. So we have, we have 11 trophies, if I'm not mistaken. 11 categories. Yeah. 11 categories yeah. with 11 trophies. And then Frogfoot has also made like a nice hamper. Mike Space has given us shirts to give away with it. Um, External Shine has given us vouchers. Take a lot has given us vouchers. What else do we have? Shibbit. We've Fury, got um, Fury Pushing Boundaries sent us yeah. and gave us a voucher to give out. Lightly Sold to give us a voucher. We've got a lot of stuff going around. Uh, I'll be honest, it was quite a process to figure out who gets what. It's uh, when you have everything in front of you and to figure out what category should get what. It's quite a bit of chaos, especially when you're in the middle of trying to plan an event. <laughs> I won't lie to you, we only figured out about three or four days ago what people were getting. But uh, for the most part, we're pretty happy with the turnout. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. We think people are gonna really like their prizes. Uh, did load shedding make any in the uh, <laughs> in the organizing of this? Fortunately, in the morning, yes. But I think we we pretty much bypassed that yeah, pretty quickly. Um, so we love Escom. Not too bad. We love Escom. Yeah, yeah we, all, we all love him. <laughs> best, best best company ever. Do any of you have a favorite car here today? Um, that's a difficult one. I'd say Dennis's Mark V, the cream Mark V that's parked at the end of this. It's the first time the car is out. And uh, to my knowledge, I don't know if it's a year and a half, two years, give or take, that the man's been building the car. It's really nice to finally see the car out and about and she looks awesome, he's done a great job. I think the, all the cars, are, one standout to me is this um, green RS here. I've always been a fan of the Fords and to see one of those in like person, it's quite nice. But other than that, I like everyone's cars. Yeah. I'm not a... We don't discriminate. No, we yeah. appreciate all of them. <laughs> Honestly, I'd probably go for a variety of cars. It's probably going to be biased, to be honest. Um, Subis, Hondas. Um, <laughs> so hard to say, dude, I really can't tell you. <laughs> just regrets? I mean, I don't feel like I have any not, regrets. He's not finishing my car to bring to the show. <laughs> yeah, we were doing an engine swap on his car and we didn't manage to get it done in time. But uh, we've had a lot of work to be done. And, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of effort that went in. We've definitely learned a lot. 
I'd say biggest regret is uh, not being able to park cars in the main field. Yeah. I feel yeah, like there's yeah. just a dead spot at the moment in the p- pitch, and you know, I think everybody knows that. But uh, like Jordan said, you know, we're open to criticism. We want to know yeah. how we can better it, make this better. You know, we want everyone to have a good time. That yeah, was our main goal. At the end of the day, yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you guys very much for taking the time to speak to me. I really appreciate it. And I want to say congratulations on putting on an amazing show. Uh, it's, it's going to be one of the shows of the year, I think. <laughs> thank you for coming. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, looking yeah, forward to the next look, one. Uh, we'll definitely have you guys at the next one. We'll definitely get you involved awesome in the basically. podcast. The podcast is always <laughs> oh, yeah, the best thing. We need you to come on the podcast. Well. Uh, hi, what is your name and what car do you have here today? Uh, my name is Imtiaz Khan and I drive a Toyota Corolla SR4. Uh, what engine is in here and do you know how much power it makes? Uh, I'm not sure what how much power it makes because I hardly drive this car. Um, it's a 1.83 T motor. 1800. The car looks like it's brand new. Um, how long did it take you to get the car in this condition? Um, so it took me around about, you can say roughly three years. Um, I had this car fully refurbished, I had the car resprayed, I had everything done over, trimmings, I got new hard caps, I had the bumpers um, refurbished as well, grill, lights, brand new lighting as well, and especially the carburetor of this car because that was a hassle to actually get fixed. And um, how did you become the owner of this car? Um, so my dad's into into um, buying and selling cars. So what happened is um, we happened to drive all the way in Bukitberg, and then his friend told him about the SR4 because I always wanted to to like this. I used to have like a Conquest and the box type, and I had the latest one I had was a 180i Corolla, but I sold all this stuff just to finish this car as well. So this is my baby right here. And what is it about this car that makes it so special for you? I think this car is unique because for as long as I have this car now, I have not seen one, especially in this condition, on the road. Because you get your normal um, your SR5s, you get your normal Conquests, you get your normal Toyotas, but I have to say this car is very really special because um, before I actually bought the car, I've always read up about it, but I've never actually managed to own one like this. So when I, when I saw it, I had to have it to myself. Well, this car definitely stands out from the crowd here. Yeah. Uh, it, it's genuine, it's immaculate. Do you have a name for the car? Um, I don't have a name, but what my friends normally... <laughs> it's very funny because they would call this car a bar one because it's a chocolate color. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, or they would say I was put the Cadbury sticker on the window because of the color of the vehicle. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. I really appreciate it and congratulations on a beautiful car. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the interview. Eh? Thank you. Cheers. Hi, what is your name and what car do you have here today? Hi, my name is Brandon. I have a Colt, Mitsubishi Colt uh, Bucky. Uh, what engine is in here and do you know how much power it makes? It's a stock engine, a 2 liter 4G63. Um, I'm not sure how much power it makes. Uh, it's just got branches and a cam and a short and powerful exhaust on it. Um, can you tell us about some of the modifications you've done to the car? Uh, obviously you can't name all of them, <laughs> but um, yeah, just some of the standout modifications. Okay, firstly I um, changed the color to an aqua turquoise base coat uh, paint. And then I did um, air suspension, uh, C notch the sashi, and I uh, relocated the shocks on front and back. I did a full uh, load bed display, um, custom bucket seats, sunroof, uh, dash interiors, all color coded to red, and the engine bay as well. The car looks awesome. Um, what, um, how long did it take you to get the car looking like this, and what were some of the big challenges? I have the car now for about four years. Um, so yeah, since day one, I started ripping stuff apart from the car and doing changes um, as I didn't like the stock look of it. Mm-hmm. Um, the biggest challenge for me was, or for us, building the air suspension was the rear um, three-link setup and the two-link setup to get the diff in its place and uh, make it the right height uh, comfortable and proper. Okay. So the, yeah, so I'll say the, the most challenging was the rear um, suspension with the chassis, cutting out the chassis and doing the link system. And what is it about this car that makes it so special for you? Um, yeah. Since I can remember by young teen days, I was always into buckies or mini trucking as such. And it was always my dream to have a long wheelbase bucky slammed to the ground. 
and just uh, show show off. Yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, they always look great, and we don't see many of them in in Cape Town. Yeah, um, I haven't seen any like this in Cape Town yet, but uh, I have a, I follow a lot of guys in Australia and the United States and as well as Japan. So I get a lot of influence from from those guys and um, inspiration and ideas from them that I wanna do here at home. Yeah, and Mitsubishi and JDM, that's a lot more popular on that side of yes, the world. Yes, that's right, yes. Uh, Japan and Australia as well. And then finally, uh, do you have a name for the car? Um, it's the Ghetto Superstar. Uh, I'm from the Ghetto, the southern suburbs, so that's just a, a name I came up with. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it actually fits the car <laughs> very well. Um, thank you so much for chatting to us about your car. I really appreciate it. And yeah, you've definitely got one of a kind here. Yeah. Sure, thanks a lot, man. Thank you for the interview. It's a pleasure. Hey guys, look who I found. It's friend of the channel, Avril. Hello. Uh, Avril, the Fiesta, no more. Uh, but what car are you driving now? I'm driving an uh, Audi S3. Um, and how long have you had the car now? Uh, just about a year. How's your experience been owning it? Uh, pretty much, I could say amazing. You know, um, it's, a, it's a big upgrade from, from the ST. And yeah, performance wise, incredible. Uh, speaking of performance, uh, what engine is in the car and do you know how much power it makes? Yes, uh, it's a 2 litre turbo, it's making 295 kilowatts. Uh, I've done a lot on the car so far, it's a stage 2 with Revo, downpipe, um, intake, Revo intake panel, uh, muffle delete, DV plus, elbow, custom exhaust on the car. This car looks like a car that's owned by Avril. Yeah. <laughs> what are some of the visual modifications you've done? Yeah, so I've put in the RS scroll, um, which gives me pretty much the honeycomb effect. Um, I put a Maxton splitter, my decals, which is the Revo stickers, um, custom headlight wraps, and back wrap as well. Uh, any future plans? You said uh, enough power, but is it always enough? Uh, I think there's never enough power. <laughs> power! So um, pretty much will be a bigger in um, intercooler and uh, maybe stage three, maybe. Okay. <laughs> um, so what is it about this car that makes it so special for you? Um, I think, okay, red, number one. <laughs> uh, so it's pretty much a bigger upgrade from Diablo 1.0 and Diablo 2.0. But I think for me, um, outside of all of that, um, I think it comes to growing up a little bit as well. Um, my Vista was my, my teen play car and, and this is more of the, the adult play car. <laughs> well, Avril, the car looks absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Congratulations on your car. Thank you. And uh, thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank I really so appreciate much. it. All right. Thank you. And thank you to Motor New Mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. All right. Hi there. What is your name and what car do you have here today? Uh, so my name is uh, Imad Abrams and this is my 2022 Ford Mustang GT California Special. Yo, brown, br brand new, so um, what engine is in here and do you know how much power it makes? Okay, so this is a naturally aspirated 5 litre V8. She is currently making 460 brake horsepower or around 340 kilowatts. And is this still stock or have you done any modifications to the car? Well, mechanically she's still stock. The only thing I've fitted to the car so far is a neon underglow kit. But I'm planning on fitting the car with uh, Air Performance uh, airlift kit soon. Airlift kit? Uh, uh, what does that do to the car? Uh, so it's uh, electronically con controlled uh, uh, airbags within the suspension. So it allows you to raise and lower the car by the push of a button. Awesome. And um, what is it about this car that makes it so special for you? Well, for me, first of all, it's the paint. Uh, this is called Atlas Blue, and it is limited to this car. This is a one of 100 model uh, designated to the SA market. Uh, and second of all, the engine is just a dream. Yeah, it's a beast. Yes, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, the, the color really stands out and it really looks uh, nice when the sun eventually comes out. It looks great. Uh, any future plans for the car? Uh, hopefully I'm going to be working uh, with a few uh, aftermarket guys. I'm hoping to maybe also put a wide body kit on this car as well as maybe a Wolf Chip Technic software and a Roush x pipe Nice. Um, and uh, finally, do you have a name for the car? Yes, this is Eleanor. Is that 
in uh, tribute to Gone in 60 Seconds. Yes, sir. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for uh, chatting to us about your car. I really appreciate it. And congratulations on an absolute beast of a car. Thank you. Really appreciate it too, man. Hi, uh, what is your name and what is your name today? Okay, it's Marano from Skullquick. Um, this is a Jetta Mark 1. It's a 1984 model. But so be key for honor, is he clear or good to others? Klein, a paar for honor and keys. Nee, bye, nee. Yeah. Um, uh, say me, what uh, engine is in the car and with you for crack it, Mark? Ja, ja. Um, I get a, a shop, maar aan een performance tuning, MPT. Um, so ik daar in de car en goed te alles zelf gebouwd. Dus het 2 liter 16 wijf. Hij doet 88 cams en BMW pistons en goed te alles. Maar hij loopt nog op pomp petrol. Een daily draai wat niet een beetje anders te lijken. <laughs> uh, maar hij maakt zo 150 kilowatt en 230 torque. Ja. Dat is wat die slecht. Ik heb van die uh, engine delete. Die engine bij de liefde die aan die gang is, um, was het altijd die plan van die begin af geweest? Ik heb voor jaren lang, ik heb bij Golfs, Carries, Mark Wans, alles, Turbo, goed alles. Ik heb lang het Zeta in Exelie gezoek. Toen ik zo twee, drie jaar terug in gekregen, ik was in de Frans mes. Maar toen ik om een rij maken, alles die dier was <coughs> om zoiets te bouwen. Maar die engine bij Flasje goed dat ik maar altijd in mijn kop ga. Ik wou een trottel motor als bouw, mooi Zeta bouw, laag maken, dat ik er met om. Maar um, my EMPL Jackie Swart, hy het my actually gejaap, want hy is meer spray, soos ek het self alle ander goed motor en alles gebouw, hy het gejaap met die spray weg, so hy het die engine by vir my geflash, so goed alles, ek het al die goed loop wegsteek en alles. Ja, um, wat hy reed na die boot. En toen, al hy goed is, ja, waterpijp en krachtdraden, maar ja, dit was iets wat van die idee, toe ek maar, dit was lockdown, en toe het lockdown was, was die kar, Basically, ik laag gespreid, toen ik een lockdown begin die motor in zitten, gekeken wat ik kan weghaal. En meestal gezien gezegd, ik kan die waterbottel weghaal. Ik heb dit weggekregen, die boosters, al die goed. En ik heb klom van die draden maar niet, ja, weggesteek. Klom werd, ja. Ja, <laughs> en um, hoe lang heb je gevat om je voertuig te krijgen, zoals wat hij nou lijkt? En dan, wat was van die, kan ik mensen zeggen, challenges geweest, wat je tegengekomen hebt? Hm. Ja, oké. Okay. De challenge was maar om alles te flashen goed. Dit het mij zeker zo'n jaar gevat om je hele kaart te bouwen. Ons het hem nog gesprek en goed binnen, buiten gesprek als. Um, het grootste ding was maar eerst om je kaart recht te maken. Want die hele nieuws was keer verstampen alles. Nu was slijm trein gezet, moest dit krijgen vinden zo goed als. En die andere challenge was maar om alles gedelete te krijgen en weg te steken te krijgen goed. <laughs> so, ja, soos die wiretak, dit was een groot probleem. En die management en alles weg te zetten. En soos om die, die fanbox het ons daar achterna toegemaak, dat jy my eindelijk sien nie, en, ja, mm. klats, kabel, ja, sorry, ja. Nee, <laughs> is nee, baie nee, goed. Ja, nee, ja, nee, ja die, die resultaten <laughs> lijken fantastisch, so jy kan baie trots wees op wat ja, jy gedoen het hier so. Um, so wat is het van die voertuig wat het so speciaal maak vir jou? Man, dis, oké, okay, dis uh, 1984 model, so ek het baie 84 models, die vrou is ook een 1984 model, wat ek altijd sê, sy hou eigenlijk baie van die kleer, okay. so inspiratie was die kleer, en ek hou ook van die kleer, ek het die carry ook wat die kleer is, maar um, die inspiratie is maar Volkswagen, ek hou baie van Volkswagen, en het werk alles, en dit was net vir my, een anderste kar, een Fox is eigenlijk maar een Golf, verstaan jy, maar, uh, Jetta het ander lichte, grill, bumper, man alles, das, die fenders, alles is anders. Ik so, ja. wou so iets gebouw het oor het anders is, mm. dit het al right uitgekom. So ja, dit is maar al. Ik het maar net, ek hou van oude gevolgs, want ek maak wans so goed alles. So. Ja. Help. Dit is een groot sins vir haas, ja. Ja, ek is ook maar Volkswagen man, so, dit is ook met my oog so vanaf okay. getrek het. <laughs> nee, dit is een En dan, um, laatstens het jy een naam vir die kar. Oh nee, nee, nie eindelijk hier. Ek het vir die ander karre name maar, nee. Wat sy sê, ons sal nog een naam op haar kom, ja. Oké. Okay. Wel, ek wil vir jou baie dankie sê dat jy gepraat moet met ons. Ek wou die het rechtig waar, ja. En, 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 ja, die voertuig lyk like, fantastisch, ja. Dank <laughs> Ons het een beetje uitgebring, ons kom van Vredenburg af, so yes. ja. Ja, so ek sê, ons het nog by die West Coast oh, gesê, show gesê, ja. en so ja, dat lyk het my, hy rijd daarom want hy moet kom. Ja, ja, nee, ons het om nog een trailer tot die, maar oh, okay. verder soos, as ek daar rond rijd, kan ek om maar net rijd. Ja, as hy, as hy, as hy eindelijk maar gesetap vir West Coast, um, is hy getune vir daar, 
Oh. Man, hy kan hier loop alles, is die selle licht druk al so. Ok, ok, goed. So hy kan hier rij enige plek, is pomp Petro getoen, niks na aksie, kan in klim, staat, idle, rij. Wonderlijk. Baie leibel alles. Uh, weer eens, baie dankie, ons wat hier dit. Lekker daar. Hi there, uh, what is your name and what car do you have here today? Hi there, my name is Kurt and I'm driving a Ford Focus ST. And um, how long have you had this car now? Uh, I had the car about 8 years. Um, yeah, quite a while. Yeah. Um, how did you become the owner of this car? Um, before this, I actually had a FN2. I'm actually not a Ford person, but I, I fell in love with the, with the five cylinders. And um, I I wanted an S3 as well, but this was the closest thing I could get to. And after buying it, I just fell in love with him. Well, definitely the best color on any car that you can imagine. I actually had this car full respray. Okay. I had a, a darker tone with glitter. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yes, because if the sun catches it at a certain angle, all the sparkles and yeah, stuff yeah, comes yeah, out. Yeah. Now it looks looks awesome. And um, what type of modifications have you done to the car? Um, so far, I, you know, Cape Town stock. <laughs> um, OEM I have a, plus, yeah. Yeah, OEM plus. So, um, <laughs> as you can see, I don't have any extras on, no lerp no fins or anything but i do have a um, stage one rj development um, software i have an intake and um, exhaust and we, we're kicking out um, 228 kilowatts and 589 newton meters or 98 newton meters i have the, the sheet in the car future plans for the car um the future plans is uh, i want to take the seats out i'm already uh, contacted the guy to do the cage, I'm going to do a cage. Um, um, currently the car has coilovers on, but um, I'm going to do an upgrade. I, I was thinking going bags, but um, I'm not sure how safe it is. I'm not, I'm, I'm a static guy, but uh, coil, I'll put a new set of coilovers in and um, do the cage. And I, I want to make it a show car. I have a set of Max Track coilovers. Um, I have it for the full eight years in the car. Um, so I, it's due for an upgrade. So. I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of changing it up to maybe a uh, BCs or something, but for now, it, it's... And what is it about this car that makes it so special for you? You know, um, uh, if I have a vehicle, I had a few vehicles. Uh, I had a um, E30 BM, I had a Iranix, uh, I Corolla, I had a Type R before okay. this one. Uh, I love all cars, yes. but, you know, this color, the, the feel, the sound, and for me now, I'm addicted to fast cylinders. <laughs> um, and then uh, finally, do you have a name for the car? Uh, you know what? I actually do not have a name for the car. <laughs> I'm probably the only one who do not have a name for the car. I uh, know, uh, we spoke to somebody else who doesn't have a name, so you know. Yeah, so, yeah there's no name for, this, for my baby. Um, uh, but I want to thank you very much for talking to us about your car. I really appreciate it. Um, you say there's a gentleman from RJ yeah, Developments so that might want to speak to us? Today we're doing a... Uh, RJ Development stand, so all these cars have been tuned by RJ Development and uh, they will be doing a uh, club display for at this, at this event. Uh, RJ Development, is that your company? Or? Yes. RJ Development is my company, it started two years ago, um, like, well actually when COVID started. Okay. So initially I had a tuning company with two other partners, SOD Tuning. Um, so I left the company um, due to different views with partners. Um, after that the company started slowing down. Um, the guys wanted to sell the tools. Um, I told them, guys, I still want to be able to do my own car. Cool, I bought the company over, well, mainly just the tools. And yeah, then RJ Developments was started. Um, and now I just switched the focus from all cars and focus on focuses. Focus, focus. <laughs> nice, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what does the RJ stand for? It's just Ryan Janssen, my name. So okay. RJ Developments. And also my dad has like a trucking company. So maybe developments can be in the building department as well so i kind of played play the fields man um and um do you do all uh, modifications in-house in-house yes so welding fabrication of the intakes if you actually move over here if we can sorry uh, we'll, we'll, oh, oh, okay we'll, we'll get some b-roll <laughs> afterwards okay so you'll see on the other focuses here behind me there are two white ones my one is over there where the people are standing um the intakes is aluminium index so i weld uh, intakes boost pipes um ECU brackets, downpipes, exhaust, basically everything is done in-house besides the plenums and stuff that I have to import from the UK. Um, tuning, it's custom tuning, it's not your off-the-shelf map, I lock the cars, road tune them, so basically everything to do with any ST yeah. in-house fabrication.
So if somebody has a stock ST and they want to go like stage, like stage three, three or whatever, they bring it to you and then you do everything in-house? 100% sir, 100%. And not just STs, I still do other cars now and then, but my main focus is on the ST. Mm. Um, if you go actually to my page, RG Developments on Instagram, okay. you'll see my big turbo ST is there. So it's this one, I just had to take it off because Kilani told me you can't have a screamer pipe out the bonnet. Oh, okay, yeah. They, so yeah, they they're a bit, uh, a bit full of it, full but... Of it. <laughs> but it's okay so after the street to strip event the big turbo will go on and then we'll switch over from the 310 kilowatt car i mean setup to like 500 and up so we'll see from there okay. <laughs> and then spinning will be an issue <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that front wheel talk yeah that's a problem but it's all fun though it's still fun exactly <laughs> But I want to give you a big thanks for chatting to us about your company. Um, I appreciate and yeah, really, I will put all your details and I'll get it from you guys, afterwards. It's just RJ Developments. Um, yeah, if you have an ST, you can just contact me. Uh, I can sort you out with anything you need. Awesome. Thank I you very much. So much, brother. Thank you. Have yes. a good day, man. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, video. I want to give a big thanks to NVS Cape Town and the Germanese Cape Town. They put on a successful event. The cars here was top quality. And uh, I can't wait to see what the guys uh, bring up, bring, bring to, bring next, bring. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. What wait to see what the guys uh, bring next. And to uh, everyone that's watching this video, thank you so much. Cheers.